Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to do a comparison and a review of three different powder sunscreens. These powder sunscreens are all mineral products and they're great for touching up your sunscreen later in the day. So you guys know that my channel is all about anti-aging and one of the best anti-aging things you can do for your skin is to wear sunscreen every single day 365, 24-7, well, not 24-7, but when the sun's out anyway. And if you're a person who wears makeup, it's hard to be able to reapply. So every day I put on a nice thick coating of my favorite all mineral sunscreen, but depending on how much sun exposure I've had that day, I may need to reapply it in two hours. And if I have makeup on, it makes it hard to do that because I don't want to wash my face and start over. If I apply a creamy sunscreen right over my makeup, you know it's going to mess it up. I personally don't like the spray, the setting spray sunscreens because most of them have a ton of drying SD alcohol in them. So the solution that works best for me are these powder sunscreens. And I've been using this one for years. I keep it in my purse. So anytime I get caught out in the sun, I just whip it out. I do my face, I do my friend's face, my daughter's, whoever's. Um, it's great for doing your part if you're at the beach, if you don't want to get a sunburn on your head, and just, you know, topping up your sunscreen throughout the day. So let's go over the basics on all three products first, then I will show you the side-by-side, head-to-head comparisons on my face. So let's start with the Tarte. This is called Tarte Guard 30. It retails for $28 for 0.28 ounces. This one has the most in it. It's a SPF 30 from 8.6% titanium dioxide and 10% zinc oxide and it comes in one shade. To get the powder loaded into the brush it has a push button mechanism. This one has a pretty ombre pink brush and it has a vanilla scent. It smells really nice going on. The next one is Super Goop Invincible Setting Powder. This retails for $30 for 0.15 ounces, so this has the least in it. This contains 24.5% zinc oxide. It comes in three shades, three colors, and one translucent. The shade that I got it in is light. This is supposed to have a matte finish and it's supposed to be sweat resistant. The brush is magnetic for easy removal and cleaning. And this one is refillable. The refills, you get 1.5 ounces for $20. To get the powder into the brush, you just invert this and tap it on the back of your hand to load some powder into the brush. Then you take off the cap, slide down the little plastic sleeve, and start Start applying. And then the Color Science Sun Forgettable Brush on Shield is an SPF 50. This retails for $65 for 0.21 ounces, so kind of middle of the road as far as how much you get in there. This contains 22.5% titanium dioxide and 22.5% zinc oxide, giving you 45% mineral sunscreens in here. The UVA protection on this is a PA++++, so for those of you familiar with the PA rating, that is the top PA rating that you can get, meaning that it screens out the maximum amount of UVA rays. On the UVB index, it is an SPF of 50. This is water resistant to 80 minutes, but it's recently been reformulated and now it also provides protection from pollution, from blue light from devices, and from infrared light as well. The brush on this has been treated so that it's antimicrobial, and this one comes in four different shades. You just invert it and tap it on the back of your hand to get the powder up into the brush, and then you apply it. So to test these guys, I put them head to head on either side of my face. So the first day I put the Tarte Guard against the Super Goop. So applying the Tarte Guard, you can't see that any of it's in the brush just by pressing that little plunger, but when you start to rub it onto your skin, you can see that there's powder coming out. You can see that it's giving you a coating of powder. From that standpoint, it is very obvious, like the coating of powder is sitting on the surface of your skin. It definitely looks a little bit whiter than my non-treated skin on the other side. Then putting the Super Goop product on the other side. This one you can see that there's a lot of powder in the brush when you take the cap off and lower 
the, that little clear sleeve. Putting it on my face, it did kind of rain powder all over my face a little bit. It seems a little bit heavier of a powder, but once I got the brush going and swirled it around, it seemed to really sit on the surface of my skin a lot nicer, be a lot more translucent, blend in with my skin a little bit better than the Tarte Guard. Looking at them side by side, I can see the white cast from the Tarte Guard definitely, and I don't really see a white cast on the Super Goop side. It just looks natural, like I don't have anything on my face. The Tarte Guard is nice and smoothing on the pores. It is mattifying, but it does leave a little bit of a white cast. The Super Goop offers a nice natural looking satin matte finish. So I wore them each for about two hours to test them out because then of course you would need to apply again and they both felt very comfortable to wear although I got to say on the Tarte Guard side I did feel a little bit of dryness around kind of my chin and mouth area where I tend to get a little bit dry. Other than that they were very comparable. They both wore well. They both controlled oil very well. Um, they both stayed fairly matte and they didn't seem to affect the wear of my makeup. So then to test the color science I put it against what I considered to be the winner from the day before, which was the Super Goop Invincible. So I put the Invincible on the left side of my face and the Color Science on the right. With the Color Science, when you tap the powder into the brush, you can't really see that there's any powder in the brush, but once you start tapping it and swirling it on your face, you can see the powder coming out. It's not messy like the Super Goop was. It didn't kind of rain powder on my face that I had to then be careful that I was um, blending it in right. This one blends in a lot more seamlessly, a lot more invisibly. The Color Science powder seems a little bit more finely milled so that you don't see those clumps around your face. Um, it does give an invisible coating of protection with a satin matte finish. It felt comfortable to wear, not drying, it wore well for the two hours, and it didn't affect the wear of the makeup either. All right, and doing a three hour check in on the sunscreens. Um, I think that they both have kept my face fairly matte, you know, but not totally flat. So I think they look good. It would be time to top them up now. Let's go ahead. I want to see what a couple of layers of each would look like. And this one I noticed before, it's something that you couldn't see. Not only does it rain down on my face, but it rains all over my shirt. That's something to consider. And just comparing the two sides of my shirt, as you can see, I had all the fallout on this side and really not on this side. So yeah, that's kind of a mess. Super Goop side. Color Science side. Side by side. Right, I was just looking at both sides super up close to check out the pores, and I think the pore smoothing is about even. I think it might be a little bit more smooth on this side and a little bit more textury looking on this side, but they both keep it pretty matte, so it doesn't really make my pores look huge and they look pretty disguised. But I noticed that on the Super Goop side, um, it seems to have disturbed the foundation or mixed with the foundation a little bit more, so that now it's getting really kind of um, patchy and weird on this side, where on this side it's much more smooth still. So you see over here how it's not really too patchy or anything. It's much more of like a smooth coating. And then when we turn over to this side, it's just a little bit patchy on the surface, a little bit polka dotty, a little bit broken up. So of the three products that I tested, I'd say I probably like the Tarte Guard the least. Of course, it is the least expensive, but it does have the lowest amount of sunscreen active ingredients in it, and it did leave that white cast. So that one wasn't my favorite. The second runner-up for me is the Super Goop product. I think this was really successful as far as looks-wise. It was very comparable to the Color Science, which of course is my favorite, where it has that PA++++ rating. It is 45% mineral sunscreens. It's water-resistant to 80 minutes. This is the one that I carry in my purse all the 
the time and I have for years and I love it. But I encourage everyone to use the sunscreen every day and definitely to reapply throughout the day and this makes it convenient and quick and easy way to do it. So that's it for today's video everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification button. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you have a great day and stay sun safe out there and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.